Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into my goodie haul for the fourth week of August of 2010. Today is the 24th and I have a few goodies uh, here today uh, that I got in the last uh, week. I'm not going to include the goodies I found uh, on the weekend of the 21st. Uh, I did a separate video for that, but let's go ahead and get started and we'll get Demetra Terra out of uh, the way here. Actually, uh, I'm still doing the video for uh, the Demetra Terra uh, Zoid. Uh, that Zoid has two modes, and this is one of the two modes. And I've been really working pretty slow on building this guy, and uh, I want to build that other mode uh, before I complete the video on that. So expect to see this uh, video of this guy pretty soon on there. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, if you saw one of my unboxing videos, you'll know that a uh, good friend, uh, Gerhawk, sent me uh, some goodies. And uh, one of the goodies was this uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, uh, the first 10 episodes. And I liked it uh, quite a bit. And I liked it so much that I tried looking for the uh, rest of the series. So I went to my local Dimple Records. And uh, that they sell new and used uh, movies and music. And I was able to find the entire series. Uh, this is the... Uh, series from the 2000s, uh, not the original uh, Filmation uh, 80s uh, uh, series. Uh, it's still a good series. I, I like it. Uh, uh, but I also uh, later found out that um, I was at, uh, with my sister over the weekend and I found out of fries the, all three volumes uh, on a single set for only $15. So I ended up paying almost three times as much as uh, what was at Fry's. But that's okay. <laughs> I, I have these. Uh, I'm good with these. So that was uh, neat. Uh, I also went back to uh, the Toy Fusion. Uh, I went back there on Friday. I only spent uh, a little bit of time there because they were about to close. They have some weird hours there. Uh, but before uh, they closed, I went ahead and picked up uh, this guy here, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics Man at Arms. Uh, this is the reissue, and I'm trying to find all of the uh, older or earlier released uh, Masters of the Universe Classics figures, and I, I decided that I'd go after the uh, reissued uh, figures first, uh, because uh, the chances of them being reissued again is uh, probably lower than the rest of the figures, so decided to look for those first, and I found this one here. And um, by the way, Gerhawk, I did uh, see the USS flag over there, and they were selling it for a nice uh, nine hundred uh, dollars. <laughs> so if you got a spare grand, I guess you can go ahead and buy that uh, USS flag. Uh, I was at a Ross, and. Uh, I was able to find, uh, where is it here? I think I misplaced it. I uh, um, was able to find uh, this here, the Avatar Jake Scully Warrior. And uh, I'm not too much into the Avatar figures, but I did have the um, that uh, machine that the Colonel uh, used to fight uh, Jake Scully here in the final... Uh, uh, scene of the, uh, well not scene, but uh, in the final battle sequence of the movie. And uh, this uh, Movie Master uh, Avatar figure actually scales well with the three and three quarter inch scale uh, Avatar figure. So I wanted to get that kernel, uh, that small uh, version of the kernel to use uh, on that uh, battle suit uh, to put up, I guess, a display uh, with this figure. But I also did find a um, Nitiri uh, figure. I, I think these were harder to find when they first came out. But So if you're looking for them, uh, they're at Ross. I saw quite a few of these figures here for $7. So. I also uh, found an Incredible Hulk DVD. I can't seem to find it. Uh, I think I misplaced it somewhere. But uh, I was able to find that for $5.99. So. I got those, and I was 
at a Toys R Us Express uh, in Folsom, California. Uh, it's it was located near or in a, an outlet uh, s uh, set of stores, and I was able to find uh, this here, a uh, Rocky Three Title Fight Ring. Uh, you may be wondering why I got this. Well, for one, it was on sale for only five dollars, uh, but uh, two. I actually did uh, collect the uh, Rocky uh, figures, uh, the uh, at least the first series. Uh, they're in my garage, and I saw this at the Toys R Us Express, <laughs> and uh, it brought back memories of me actually getting these Rocky figures. So I picked this one up. I don't have the Clubber Lang. I want to get the Clubber Lang Lang figure now, and the uh, Rocky in the yellow trunk. So, uh, but for five dollars, I picked that up. So. It's pretty neat. And let me just put this over here so it doesn't fall down. And I was at a Walmart. Uh, I found a lot of nice uh, deal, uh, deals at Walmart. I found a whole bunch of um, t-shirts, licensed t-shirts. I got here a Thundercats t-shirt, uh, Superman t-shirt, and an Empire Strikes Back t-shirt on there. That's kind of neat. Uh, they were all on sale for about $7, I think, I believe. And uh, this is a real cool find here. Uh, I got this guy here, uh, Bionicle Scopio, which is a huge set. And you can see it right here. I can't even fit it in the frame on there. Uh, this guy was on sale f well, I think it, the, I think the original price was like $80 uh, but this guy was on sale for only $20 so <laughs> that's a really great deal. I also did find uh, another Bionicle set. Uh, this one. It's a nice vehicle set. Uh, Thornatus V9 or version 9 I guess. This is also a large set and you can see here, I did get that one for $20 as well. That's a really cool deal. So, I'm telling you, this uh, goodie haul report is just full of goodies. Um, at really great prices. And uh, I got this. It's a pillow. Yeah, for 5 bucks at Walmart. You may be wondering why I got a pillow. Uh, but earlier in the day, I was at... Uh, when I bought the pillow, uh, I was at a Kmart and I found this for on sale for only four dollars. It's a SpongeBob pillowcase, so uh, SpongeBob is my hero. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this on that pillow I just bought. And while I was at that Kmart, I did find uh, this here. I uh, what is this? A Nebular Starscream. Uh, Kmart exclusive. Uh, this is on sale for $19. Uh, I don't know why, I, for some reason, this guy just, not this particular version of Starscream, but just Starscream in general, I've attached onto uh, when I started getting into the Transformers. So, much like uh, my fascination with Obi Wan Kenobi, I try to find uh, Starscream uh, wherever I can and just pick him up. So, and I'm not a fan of the Bayformer Starscream, but he is Starscream, so uh, I did pick this guy up, $19, and uh, in the clearance aisle, I did finally uh, find, uh, found another uh, Transformer animated, and this one is the Skywarp on there, so I get to check off uh, on my Transformer animated list, uh, one more Transformer found, so but uh, I don't think I think that's it I, uh, for my goodies uh, for the fourth week of August. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys next time.